Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the last problem of today's weekly contest, selling pieces of wood. So the problem states that you are given a wood of size m cross n and you are given a array price which denotes what is the price you will get if you sell a wood of size hi cross wi. You have to sell this wood such that you will get the maximum amount of money. Now what you can do either you can sell the entire wood piece or you can break the wood piece either horizontally or vertically into two into two part and then break it uh, and then sell it. So this horizontal or vertical is recursive like after, let's say uh, you break the wood horizontally you will get two piece. Now from that two piece you can again break it horizontally or vertically. So now for let, let's take an example. Uh, this is a wood of size 3 cross 5 and uh, it is the, this price area denotes that selling a wood of 1 cross 4 will give us uh, 2 unit of money. Similarly selling a wood of size 2 cross 2 will give us 7 unit of money and selling a wood of size 2 cross 1 give, give us 3 unit of money. So what we have done here like uh, we have divided the wood first horizontally so this we, we, we make this cut and after that we for the first piece for the upper piece we again divide it into two vertical pieces so this red one we sell and get seven rupees similarly this green one we sell and get seven rupees this yellow one we sell and get three rupees and this blue one like uh, the last piece that we have we again break it horizontally and remove the last uh, cell and we get a wood piece of size 1 cross 4 and we sell it again and get 2 rupees so in total we will be getting 19 rupees by selling this wood piece so you can check you can't do better so basically the problem is you need to find the maximum money that you can earn by selling this wood piece either as a whole or by cutting it into multiple pieces. So now how to solve this? So first uh, let's see what else you can do in a single operation. So like what are the oper like what is a single operation? In one operation you can either sell this entire piece right so that that's is, that is one operation. Uh, second operation is you break the wood. Okay so now in the first operation where, where you sell this entire piece you will get money that is given to you in the price array okay but that is straightforward now what have, like the case where you break the wood is kind of tricky because you can break the wood recursively into multiple pieces okay so how to find out what is the best combination now instead of finding out what is the best combination let's try to find out what are the possible solutions so in one move what you can do you can either break it into vertical piece or a horizontal uh, horizontal slice so first like you can either do this so in in this case uh, you will be getting like this entire piece will be one segment and this entire piece will be another wood segment okay uh, similarly you can do like a split by this and this entire left piece will be one wood segment and this entire right piece would be another wood segment. Similarly, uh, what you can do is you can make a vertical piece. Uh, so if you make this horizontal slice, you will this like this upper piece will be a single wood segment and this lower piece would be a single wood segment. Okay. Now what like in like what you have to find you have to find what is the maximum number of maximum amount of money that you can make by selling this wood piece right so let's uh, say you know what like you have to find out what is the maximum amount of money that you can make by selling this wood piece now you make a cut you make like this uh, this cut you make now what you need to find with these two uh, these two pieces like this piece you can you again want to find what is the maximum amount of money that I can make by selling this wood piece right because you have already made the cut so this piece and this piece are independent of each other now right so 
previously you need to find out what is the maximum amount of money that you can get by selling this entire wood piece but now you have to find out what is the maximum amount of money that you can get by selling this wood piece and what is the maximum amount of money that you can get by selling this wood piece does that make sense like what you have done is you have divided the problem into two sub problems which are of the same kind basically if the problem is what is the maximum amount of price that you can make by selling a wood of size r cross c this r and c now changes like previously this r and c was 4 cross 4 but now after making this split the first r was 3 cross 4 and the second one is 1 cross 4 so that's the only thing that changed so basically if you know, like to solve this what we have done we have divided it into two problems which are of exactly same kind so hope you can see the recursion here right so if f of rc like let's say the value of this is f of rc if f of rc denotes the uh, maximum number of uh, maximum amount of money that you can make by selling this wood piece of size r cross c you can divide the wood into like you can take every possible first move so in first move what you can do you can either split horizontally or vertically so let's say you split the horizontally by this way then you can just find out what is the value of f3 comma 4 and f1 comma 4 and then sum them up you will get what is the maximum amount of money that you can make by selling this wood piece of size r cross c so this is by if you make this cut so similarly you can try other possible combinations like uh, let's say there are uh, you don't make this split and you make this split so in this case you will just find out f of 2 comma 2 comma 4 and f of 2 comma 4 and just sum them up so you will take maximum of all such first moves so this is a, this is your first move right like from r cross c what you are saying that i am going to something r dash c dash right so this r dash c dash is something that your first move will decide so this is your first move if your first move is this then you this r dash c dash is 3 comma 4 and 1 comma 4 if your first move is this r dash c dash is 2 comma 4 and 2 comma 4 similarly if your first move was this then the r dash will be 4 comma 3 and r dash c dash is 4 comma 3 and for this one r dash c dash is 1 comma uh, sorry 4 comma 1 so basically you have to take every possible combinations and just feed them into the same function so what would be the base case the base case is this piece so basically uh, we can sell this entire piece right so base case is either you can't split it like you get a cell you get to a position where there is only one cell you can't split it that is one case other case is you have to sell this entire wood piece let's say you get this piece in one of the combination so you can sell this entire wood piece so that is that are the two base cases now if like hope you get the intuition of how this recursion is working here now let's just look at uh, a uh, sample case to understand it more clearly let's say you have a cell uh, you have a grid of four, four cross four and uh, you want to find the value of f four comma four okay so now for finding the value of f four comma four what all things you need basically you have to split this grid you have to take every first move the first the very first move is to sell this entire grid so if there is a uh, price of 4 comma 4 in the price array then you just sell this entire piece that is the first move uh, the what are the other possible moves other possible moves are you have to break this uh, entire grid okay so now how do you break these are the four possible combinations so either you break horizontally or you break vertically right so these are the four possible combinations if you break horizontally either you will get this or you will get this remember that you i don't split here because if you split here you will get exactly the same configuration so these are the two possible combination if you do a vertical split similarly if you do a horizontal split these are the two possible combinations so what will be your answer finally of 4 comma 4 the answer would be uh, something like maximum of f of uh, uh, first you will take this the vertical split let's say so a uh, vertical split f of 4 comma 3 plus f of 
फोर कॉमा वन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट पीस नाउ सेकेंड पीस इज एफ ऑफ दिस टॉक अबाउट दिस पीस एफ ऑफ फोर कॉमा टू प्लस एफ ऑफ फोर कॉमा टू ओके एंड सिमिलरली वट आर द अदर पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन दिस इज वन पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन वेर इन द वैल्यू इज एफ ऑफ थ्री कॉमा फोर एंड एफ ऑफ वन कॉमा फोर एंड द लास्ट कॉम्बिनेशन दैट वी हैव इज एफ ऑफ टू कॉमा फोर एंड एफ ऑफ टू कॉमा फोर which actually denotes this particular piece so basically if you take the max over all these uh, values you will finally get the value of f of 4 comma 4 okay so what is the algorithm that we have now the algorithm is pretty simple uh, we will just uh, find out the value of f of rows comma call and for that we i like we do every possible split horizontal split and take the max over all of them and then we do every possible vertical shift and take the max over all of them and finally return answer okay so uh, one thing to note here is we initialize this with price of rows comma column which actually denotes the sell piece like if you want to sell this entire piece as it is without actually uh breaking it down further so hope you get the solution let's just look quickly look at the code to so the code is very simple as per the algorithm we the base case is we can't split the uh wood piece further so rows is one and column is one you can't actually split so in that case uh, you will just return the price of one cell so uh, i have initialized the price with zero if it is not given in the problem so basically if you sell that entire piece it doesn't matter you will not get any money so that's that's where like even if 1,1 is not there in this price array um, the value will be zero and the value returned from this particular function would be zero now after that as discussed we just uh, made all possible horizontal splits and all possible vertical splits and for each horizontal sp split we get two pieces and we just find out the value like the price of all the, both the pieces and sum them up similarly for other split we also get two pieces we just get the price of both the pieces and sum them up and one thing to note again here is the answer is initialized to price of rows comma call which actually denotes if we want to sell this entire piece how much money we will get so if it is given in the problem we will just uh, put it otherwise it will be zero so as we discussed like we initialize this price array with uh, for every r comma c initially everything is zero so as and when we like whatever is given in the problem we just put it here okay uh, and finally just call the function to get the maximum value so hope this problem is clear if you have any doubts in this problem please post them in the comment section below i will be happy to answer uh, one more thing to note here is that the well the all the shapes of wood are pairwise distinct that's where we don't get a uh we don't get a place wherein these i like this i2 are two different values let's say it might be given that selling 3 comma 4 like selling a wood of 2 comma 1 gives you 3 rupees similarly there is another entry selling a piece of 2 comma 1 will give you 4 rupees so in that case what you like only thing that will change is instead of directly putting i2 you will put the max of current value and i2 because if you get 3 rupees by selling a wood of 3 cross 4 and for the same wood piece you get 4 rupees you will definitely take the option which will give you the 4 rupees for that particular wood piece so that's all like uh, if you have any doubts please post them in the comment section below thank you